Question. What's worse than old, worn out, flat weather stripping on your car or truck? Uh, nothing at all. That's the worst thing ever. <laughs> About two years ago, I replaced all the weather stripping for the doors on this 95 Suburban you see behind me. I had just bought the truck, and it had like no miles on it, but it was old. It's a 95. But because of its age, the weather stripping had flattened out, and every bump in the road sent the four doors absolutely shaking like crazy. At first, I thought it was the suspension that was making all that noise, but quickly realized it was actually the doors. You see, the weather stripping actually serves two purposes. Number one, it keeps the weather out. Number two, it holds the doors steady. So once I replaced all the weather stripping on all four doors, the rattling completely stopped. The truck felt like 20 years newer, at least. The one thing I didn't do though was replace the weather stripping for the rear tailgate and hatch. I was gonna do it after the doors, but you know, things happen, time goes by, you just kind of forget about it. Hey, at least I'm doing it now. Actually, I'm doing it a little different this time around. You see, when I replaced all the weather stripping for all four doors, it was actually a pretty tough job. I had to remove a bunch of inner trim panels, I grunted a whole heck of a lot, and there was a whole lot of expensive weather stripping I had to buy. So I had an idea. This weather stripping is hollow. It's like a tube. So why not fill that up? I went to my local hardware store and picked up this foam piping. Now, this stuff is called caulk saver and it is 3 eighths of an inch in diameter and 20 feet long. It's basically just a 20 foot run of soft foam that is perfect for filling the void of the weather stripping. I got to work and here's how it went. So the first thing I did was grab some trimmer line that I had laying around, you know, the stuff you use in your weed whacker, and I used this stuff to fish through the weather stripping. If you pull the weather stripping out and look behind it, you'll see there are small holes that that are perfect for this. I found the appropriate hole and started fishing the trimmer line through. It was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. As for that appropriate hole, I found that running from about the center of the two top and bottom runs all the way to the corner was easiest. If I tried to run all the way around the corner, I would find that the tension would become too great and the foam would just tear. So about center to corner was perfect. Also, I used a heck of a lot of lube. I have this super lube grease that worked perfectly and I'll put a link down in the description below. One thing to note here is on the two sides, there's actually already a rubber insert about midway. So you gotta use that as kind of your stopping point when you're coming down or going up. Another note is I found the size of this piping actually being able to fit right through those tiny holes in the back. So there's no need for any cutting or anything like that. Yeah, I wish I would have known that sooner. Overall, I would say this job, or hack, is extremely easy and effective. I was able to breathe new life into this old, flat weather stripping, thereby saving a lot of time and money. Now the tailgate and hatch shut nice and tight and do not rattle over bumps. And as soon as I even so much as suspect the doors starting to rattle again, I'll just fill those too. Well, I truly hope this video helped you figure out how to revitalize your old worn out weather stripping. It's such an easy and effective thing to do that takes absolutely no time at all. All right, well, if you like this video, please don't hesitate to hit that thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed, the button's right down there, go for it. You can also catch me on Instagram at One Road Garage and my website at OneRoadGarage.com. All right, guys, well, I'm Jimmy, this is One Road, and I will see you in the next one.